Hello everyone, I uh, hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome to the session with the Global Leader organized by School of Entrepreneurship Development, which is a organization based in Bangladesh. And you know, like we are a knowledge sharing platform through uh, this souvenir, uh, our uh, audience who are um, undergrad students, entrepreneurs in, who are in Bangladesh, uh, to give them an idea about you know, like uh, how different people uh, actually are doing things differently and lessons from their life. Uh, so we try to share their life stories through the souvenir so that our audience can get an uh, idea and insight about how to do things differently in different parts of the world. So today we have we, we will have welcomed our guest speaker, Ms. Yipunaga Hatha. Uh, she is the CEO of Sustainability Incorporation and she has a vast experience in different fields. So we are going to learn a lot from her. So, uh, Ms. Yoko, welcome to our session. Thank you. Hi, everybody. I cannot see you guys, but uh, yes, it's a great honor to talk in front of you. Now, by the way, the my the first the family name is Nakahata, N A K A J T A. And uh, hi, I'm Yuko. I'm in Tokyo, Japan. Actually, I have visited Bangladesh quite often before. I have been there for fifteen times, I think. And uh, I will share what I'm doing right now. Actually, as an entrepreneur, this is the second company for me. So I can say I'm a serial entrepreneur. And why I started this company is about, uh, you can see the, our company name, Sustain Seed. This is the, about the sustainability focus. We want to raise the sustainability for the next generation. And actually, I'm a board member at the listed company also. And when I became a board member, it was 2018. And in Japan, the female board is only 4%. So even still now, the rate of the female board is still less. So I thought I faced on that gender gap. For myself, when I think of my the younger days, yes, I struggled a lot, but uh, I broke through. Actually, that I was working for a venture company, and I was working so hard, I couldn't get the promotion, and I was talking to boss and uh, telling why the male the Carex can get uh, promotion so easily, but uh, I don't. And I'm doing the well same things, and I'm bringing the same results. I don't know why I was keep asking. And even the, the boss, the CEO, was staring. No, it, it's not because of the gender gap. Everybody is the same, but it was not. But uh, after a while, when I gave the, the quite good result about the sales, finally, I got the promotion as a subsidiary CEO. And they had the IPO at the same year. So it was my beginning of broke, break through the glass ceiling. So after that day, yes, my career became totally different. So yeah, and after for a while, I started my first company, but the, right now I want to talk about sustaining seed. So because of sort of the background of the gender gap waste, and uh, also the gender gap is one of the SDGs target. And the, my co-founder, his name is Koji. Now he's in Philippines and uh, he says his the work, the, his life, the uh, life target is to solve the poverty. So that's why that he wanted the support, uh, the Philippines, the poor 
people, and he started a business in there, and he joined. So when we discussed, and also that I was thinking that uh, I want to cover everything because social issues, not only the gender gap or poverty or many of the uh, issues include the climate change. So that's why that we picked the sustainability. And the seed mean we started from a crowdfunding platform. It's not the equity type. It's a donation and purchase type. And the seed means not only the, the plant seed, but the, its meaning is we can bring it, we can start from it. So we combine these two words. So right now what I'm doing is that we say we are a startup. So that's mean that we are trying to do something new trying to build something. And uh, I, as I said, we started from a crowdfunding platform and uh, noticed that crowdfunding is B2B2C model of the, co the business. But we met the many of the B2B corporations and also the, met the many of the great corporations from abroad and the uh, cloud funding is related with the uh, local law. So that means we started from Japanese platform, but I thought the sustainability is the, not only Japan, but anywhere it's a world, the mutual issue. So that's why that, uh, I thought we need to make it as global so that's why right now we made a prototype of the sustainable solution holders platform. This is for the, the anybody that who already trying to solve the sustainable solution. For example, there are the startups that the one company is making the the model of the car, especially truck, the engine modify the, from the oil fuel to hydrogen. Or the one company is making the metaverse. Uh, you may <laughs> like the Web3, the metaverse, the housing show, showroom. So that mean that the uh, no need to establish the physical the showroom, but the online, so can reduce the using the materials. Or even there are the ESG evaluation the software, you see, so there, there are a lot of the great people from around the world. So now that we already uh, try and uh, talk with the prototype users and uh, for the next stage is to make it as a beta version with adding some other function and uh, I want to make it as a world biggest showcase of the sustainable solution holder. This is the ass and this is my story. Yes, very inspiring. I mean, the thing uh, you, you 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 shared about sales uh, that you uh, were in sales department for your organization, right? So, can you a little bit explain about how it is like here in Bangladesh? Uh, you know, it, the scenario has been changed a bit, but you know, like uh, still the thing that the gender uh, issue, that the gender inequality, that uh, there are less females are in sales uh, position. So how do you see it? I mean, female in sales. Is there any, I mean, uh, differences or gap between you know, the male sales plan versus female sales plan? It's actually, that, uh, yeah, of course, uh, it's up to the country and uh, even there are the many of the differences. And then when I went to Bangladesh, when that we have needed to open the corporation bank account. 
I went to a bank and uh, at the office floor, I'm a bit shocked. The mostly I could say it was like 90% or probably more were male. And uh, I have asked my the colleague why that there are the less the female worker here, you know, even at the office. Why? Uh, is there any reason the female cannot work at the office? And my the former colleague said, yeah, because need a permission. Uh, in this culture, the to work as a female, if she was single, need to ask to father if it's okay to work, and if she married, need to ask to husband. And uh, I thought, okay, that sounds. But uh, he says it's because of the protection. Okay. But recently, I heard it's getting changed. But uh, I believe there are, you know, the, everybody have their the preferable and uh, it's fine if she is the happy to stay home or uh, to follow to father or sorry to say, but uh, if she wants to do something by herself, uh, I hope that all of the husband and father understand why she wants to do that and uh, respect her decision. So this is my yep. wish. Yeah, the, the fact is really Wherever uh, it exists, I mean, gender gap, or you, can, you can relate very easily. It's not uh, actually uh, most of the cases. Not this is the case that uh, taking permission from family members. But the thing is, they have to you know like uh, let them visualize, or they have to actually convince that why it is important to you know work for a company or work for that. You know, there is a lack in that, and the main thing is there are so-called intellectuals. In society, uh, they're male dominated and they try to, you know, like put some, you know, like uh, superstitious facts in the minds of other people because by that they can, you know, stop some competition by not getting female colleagues or, you know, like stuff like that. So the thing is, uh, this is this is two way blocking uh, channel, you could say. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, it is male or female, it doesn't matter. Gender is not important. It's the important is whenever there is a uh, you know, like uh, constraint or there is a uh, block blockade, you know, like so they have to bypass it. You know, they have to suffer mm -hmm. their self by overcoming it. So the thing is, you know, like when they are very confident enough, you know, you know, then they can you know go for whatever they want. No, no one is going to stop them. But the thing is, it's about like sales. You have to, if you want to get a sale from, say, for example, a company, you have to, like, in our case, we convince a lot of, we have to convince and influence a lot of uh, stakeholders through the process to get the decision, uh, to let them take the right decision in favor of them. So the thing, it is like that in our life. So it's male or female, doesn't matter how they're convincing their parents or family members has been stuck like that. So, you know, it's, it's just a word of mouth. That, oh, people, yeah, women cannot, uh, cannot work well, you know, like they cannot be in sales, they cannot be in that, that, that. It's just a word. And, you know, it's, it's when someone has a belief in that, oh, I'm a woman, I cannot work in sales, I cannot work here, there, I need permission. So it's uh, limit their confidence and the, not let them help take right decision so the thing is you know like the positivity and positive words and practice of positive words about this in university level uh, community level will have to come forward there are so many feminists who say that they are working for female uh, empowerment but they're not really working towards it you know they are working it they're saying it to earn some money 
you know, like, oh, we are working for free enterprise. But actually, they are not working for free. They are also the a third constraint for uh, hindering female uh, empowerment, especially in Bangladesh. So the thing is, you know, it's about uh, belief. So it's if, if you go back, that then is the right education. If uh, female or male, they are not. They are also them. the parent education, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. That, that's also yeah. thing. Like, say, for example, they are very strict on not letting them work. It's so maybe person. you can invite the parents to the university also. There could be some there could be some program and you know it's that person, he or she should actually influence them or share with them about the you know prospects of being uh work for uh, in, in the in the future to go and work for some mm -hmm. So this is just just uh, sharing something with uh, apart from the discussion. So the thing is, you know, like that's what we are trying to do, you know, like uh, as an organization, putting all the positive stories and positivity in the platform so that people can, you know, if this, they want or seek guidance, consultancy for free, they can, you know, like uh, reach out to this organization and get free consultancy. Mm -hmm. Parents, students, entrepreneurs, they will get the right direction. So, for example, like we invited you because you, your experience is huge and so impressive. So, you know, like within very few, uh, short period of time, they're uh, knowing some information and insights. I think you have been sharing. So it's very important, you know, like it's, it's a years of experience, you know, and sharing it within uh, 30 minutes is amazing. So anyway, just uh, let's go to the next topic. I mean, through your journey, professional journey, you have been to places, you have been to countries, you have mixed with different people from different uh, countries. So, what can you share uh, two cases? Uh, which one will share? Which one will portray uh, what makes a successful person and what makes a person failed? Mm -hmm. Sure, you know, uh, myself, I, I yeah, although I, uh, my gender is female, but I actually don't care in the scene of the business. And uh, yeah, it's up to the what kind of the area of the task and the job. And of course, if the, the job was carrying something heavy items, I cannot do the same as like you, but uh, but if it was the for example like um, accounting, gender doesn't matter. So you just brush up yourself, your knowledge and uh, your the skills, and uh, yeah, of course the, you can. Uh, allow more and more uh, to be efficient, then the people will see what you can do. So about the gender in the business, I really don't care. And uh, even the people say that uh, the female, the founder is the, quite difficult and it's not a fair, but I haven't feel like that yet. Uh, and as myself, it's funny story. Uh, before I was in only in Japan, I was thinking I can do anything the same with the guys. Although I'm a woman, as a female, I was thinking I can do anything like a male. But I moved to Hong Kong and I have lived in Hong Kong for seven years. Then the, I was in charge for the, the global business development and I went to Bangladesh. I noticed that no, I cannot do the same as guys because I couldn't go out by myself and even I have needed to ask somebody to go together. It's not because I'm a, the foreigner, but uh, I recognized because I'm a female. 
and for my safety and for the corporate responsibility and my courage, that of course they don't want to get any risk or any trouble, of course. So that's why that uh, I have needed to recognize that, okay, I'm female, I cannot change it. So I just accept it. And right now I'm thinking, okay, there are the differences, but that's it. So as a business, just accept the differences. So as I said at first, the what that you do is important. And uh, if I really want to carry some heavy item, as same as guys, I just need to train myself or even if it became the just less number of the items I can carry, maybe the, to make it as the same, I just need to speed up or like that. But at the first, they need to know what the difference is and accept this is different. And for me, it's not about the gender gap, but the gender difference sort of the part. So better to think the differences. And if it was not a fair, yes, you better to stand up and uh, you better to speak out at the right place. So yes, that's it, I can tell you. Okay. And uh, it's a very, you know, like uh, insightful thing that you have shared. The thing is, you know, like uh, I believe that our audience really would love to hear, you know, like, because uh, Japan is a, is, is a friend of us, a friend of Bangladesh for me, more than like uh, so many years. So the thing is, you know, like around the world, uh, people have, you know, people follow and talk about Japanese methods, Japanese strategies, you know, like how they are so happy, how they live a longer life. So in, in, in terms of business, what kind of strategy, like, you know, like the quality of Japanese products, service, companies, it's the highest standard around the world. So say, for example, if uh, anyone wants to start a business, uh, how they can build this kind of you know like trust and brand over uh, after a period of years uh, according to you like how do you make a uh, separate business so uh, like the, so uh, quality food and some build such a brand that last years mm, if you say specific something the set up a brand they need to understand what is the blending. I no, would say. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, uh, yeah, this is a very big topic, a uh, long topic, but just a, mm. just a way that the, what are what they what are, say, generally they start something. I would say they think they think bigger and write down your big picture at the first what you want to do and the. Uh, but you need to think who is the customer because the, if you just want to make something that you want to make, if the customer doesn't want, if they don't like it, they don't buy. So that means it's your hobby. But you need to see the, what the customer's requirement and start something small so see the big picture write the big that your dream but start from the tiny step what you have in front so yes this is the usual the general the business the building how to start but you need to research also and uh, where is the market you need to research? Who is the client? And especially the client, what is the segment? The male, female, the, what the age, where they live or what they are doing like that. And why they want 
your product. So not think about yourself, think of your client and uh, just shimmerate in your mind if you are the client, what you want. So this is the way how to start the business. And even if you have the no knowledge about how to build up the corporation, you can find a professional like a lawyer or accounting office. But uh, to start something, of course, you need to have some of the capital at least. But there are a lot of the business model that you don't need any capital. So find something you like, you love. Because if it was just something that you found the demand, probably for a while later, if you didn't like it, you cannot keep it. That because my first company, I said, I learned that business for five years it was the recruitment agency for fashion industry. Because there are other clients I studied that I noticed that I don't like it. So that's why that after five years, I sold my company. So now I would say start something to find something that uh, you have the passion and there should be the demand from your client. That is, that is. Wonderful. So, you know, like, uh, like another question is, uh, any business organization or NGO or person, they need uh, partners, you know, to fulfill the mission or vision of this company, that particular company has. So, uh, in terms of like uh, for your company, like sustainability in incorporation, uh, how you select right partners to you know like to go towards mm -hmm. mission to uh, goal and what is the uh, uh, how important are the or is those partners are to achieve the dream you have or goal you have uh, for your company? Yeah, actually, that uh, you are business partner. Yeah, even then you can start from yourself by yourself only. But uh, if you have somebody to do it together, it's much better because, then of course, the, the one person's the, the hands plus one another is much more. But uh, you better to keep talking with the people. In, in general, if you have somebody that you know very well is... A little bit easier, but another um, friends that so you need to keep talking about a business. And uh, if you could have the business minded friend, that is the right person. And uh, if somebody that uh, if you talk about your business idea, if somebody that agreed and uh, if somebody said that is really good, I have my passion about that. That is the person. But uh, at first, I would say not only the passion, but also that person's as a personality should be quite nice to you and to everybody. And also, uh, when you are quite younger, probably you don't notice, but uh, if you are the type of active person and you prefer to talk with the clients, you can be sales. And uh, in the other hand, if you are not good at for the number for accounting or the calculate uh, the sum of the sales and the cost, and you need to find somebody who can cover that you cannot do, you are not good at. So if can cover the skills each other, that would be the stronger uh, team. So when you are still in the university, probably you don't know what is uh, your skill or what is your ability yet, but uh, just try something and you will feel you like it or not. So you like it and you can do that is your skill. So that's some part 
you don't like it and you cannot do that, you need somebody who can cover that. I would say. So we are almost uh, at the end of our session. So uh, the last question uh, is, uh, I, I mean, most of our audience who are watching it and who are going to watch it, they are university students. So after, uh, before graduation, uh, they they will think about they're going to think about you know like, uh, which profession they should take there for, whether to be an entrepreneur or they should go for a professional career. So can you uh, give some advice uh, for those youths who are basically uh, university students, like how they can you know like cope up with the, taking those decisions? Yeah, I would say if you saw some opportunity and if you saw it's a chance, just take it. And uh, during you are thinking your chance is gone. Do you know the story that the chance of God, the chance of God have only the front hair and uh, run through in front of you so fast. So if you didn't grab the hair, the backside, there is no hair and you cannot grab. So that means that if you saw the chance and if you feel it's good, just go for it. And then you can make the decision even later, but uh, see that you need to listen yourself, your feeling, how you feel. Is it good or not? And uh, during you are thinking and during you have some hesitation, be careful. Sometimes it would be too late. So just try everything what you like. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much. And you see, that's the thing. That try everything that you like. So yep. doing, a, imagine doing something in the imagination, and if they just do and if the fear by keeping it in their imagination which is not going to work they should go and try for their life this is a very yeah, yeah, catchy word, a nice catch phrase <laughs> I, I will also follow that you know like try anything yeah. that you want that, the failure is not a failure you know the failure is just a thing you found it didn't work so yes it's not the minus so that's why that I would tell you, do everything. The, not the uh, you know physical, the risky, the, the hard yourself. But uh, if you are feeling so good, just do it. And uh, if you learn something, that's good. That is a result. So failure is nothing scare. So just go for it. Uh, thank you so much, Yuko uh, and, and, and uh, I, I'm extremely I apologize uh, no for for uh, you know like I, I that, that that was a typo. Uh, I put G instead of K. <laughs> so anyway, no uh, I'm sorry for that. So <clears throat> the thing is, you know, like uh, thank you so much for sharing. You know, like within very short, you are so busy, and you know, like to uh, get. A speaker like you is an honor for us, and we are so happy to learn from you. And it to, it 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 was a yeah, it, it has been easier, you know, like to connect because you know we are in Asian countries, and it is very easy to connect what you you are saying. So yeah, yeah that was very different. Cool. different three and, hours only. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, yeah, maybe you are from future because it's maybe. 5 30 p.m. there so you're a futuristic person <laughs> so mm. the thing is you know like our audience uh we believe that uh, they have learned a lot from your session and we believe also that they're not going to just watch you watch your session and they're going to practice what you have shared we we, we believe in uh, execution so they're going to use it and execute it the uh, ideas you have shared, the uh, advice you have given. So, and we believe that they're going to get results out of it. And 
thank you so much for your time on behalf of school of entrepreneurship development i would like to uh, share, share my sincere gratitude towards you and you're welcome to visit their office uh, in bangladesh when you visit bangladesh please you are welcome my pleasure so girls the you need to believe yourself that's all <laughs> great so uh Sigo, thank you so much. And in, in future, if you find any uh, like uh, very customized uh, session we can take uh, for universities, for students, uh, we will also reach out to you for your support. Sure. Okay. So okay. thank so, you then, for having me for today. So you're welcome. And we're one right. uh, right. Dear audience, uh, hope uh, you have enjoyed the session and uh, you see that uh, our guest speaker, uh, she is uh, successful because she practiced uh, try anything or everything that you like. Mm, yes. And the thing is, it's not and it's not an easy task. Keep doing it and keep going where you are fine, where you which, which work you're passionate about. So we 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 urge to practice and execute the ideas and advice of this speaker and speakers uh, have shared with this through this webinar so yeah have a good day and be well thank you, thank you. don't know about